As always, the open house is a great opportunity for everybody from the ages of 1 to 100. We've got something here that is of interest to everybody. Um, of course, we've always got the animals here, and there's always something wonderful that everybody can learn. We also have a great area for the kids. We've got a lot of uh, game and fish related activities with our boating education and, and uh, catching a little plastic fish, as well as all the little kids craft activities that are very, very interesting and, and they are wildlife related. Like you can make your own raccoon mask or you can make your desert tortoise design that you, you do out of a paper plate. So simple, so cute, but so easy for the kids and something that they get to take away. The best part is this event is for everybody and it is free. Some of the many animals that you will see when you come to the Wildlife Center are we have this bobcat that's actually in our large flight pin so that a lot of people can get up close and personal. You don't get to touch it, but you can see the handlers. You can learn what the process is on, on working with this type of animal. And this is a day in, day out uh, activity. And this is a dedicated individual or both individuals because we have to work with this animal every single day to keep it in condition to do the things and, and uh, to be able to bring it for the public to see. Then if you step around the corner you'll see our bald and golden eagles. Okay well what we have here is Magnum. He's our golden eagle. Okay, yeah, He was hit by a car about 10 years ago. Uh, he is fully flighted but not able to be released back to the wild. Cody over there is our uh, young bald eagle. He's only four years old. He's just now getting that white head. He was actually taken out of a nest in Wyoming and raised by people. So he's become habituated, slightly imprinted, and actually attacks people for food. So people were camping. He came in and started taking all their food. So we went to Wyoming and picked him up. Then we have our display of the great um, owls. We've got the great horned owl, the barn owl, the screech owl, and the burrowing owl. Four of the 13 types of, bar of owls that we have here in Arizona that you can see again at one of our displays. And then we have the peregrine falcon and the American kestrel falcon, two falcons. Then we have our hawk display. You can see how the wing hangs funny on, that, on the gray hawk. It droops a little bit on the one side, permanent injury as well as we've got reptiles, and then we also have our, our uh, Desert Tortoise Adoption Program. And if you go over to the Desert Tortoise Adoption Program, you'll see this cage and you'll look and you'll see Miko, who is our state mammal, which is a ringtail. Due to our location and also because of the function of the center in doing some rehabilitation as well as working with education animals, we're not a facility that can be open to the public because of our regulations as well as our activities of what we do. So when you come out to open house, this is a great thing that you get to see once a year, the weekend before Thanksgiving, and this is the time that it is open to the public on both days from 10 to 3. Otherwise, we're not open to the public on a general basis. So there's a variety of things that um, we have to consider when we're looking at, at these animals as far as injuries, as far as what they've got to do to survive in the wild, and then again, make that decision and determination. Is it an animal that can go back in the wild, or unfortunately, is this an animal that has to stay in captivity? So the animals you will see today are those that will not be going back into the wild. These are animals that have become the wildlife ambassadors for all of those in the wild. These birds have to be here, they need to be protected. Uh, the golden eagle is one of the, the special species and now they're starting to do studies on them. And the more that we understand about bald eagles, golden eagles here at the rehab centers, the better we're able to adjust them in the wild. You know, the thing that people come and they see all these people working with these animals in all these booths and they think how great that is, these are the most wonderful people in the world. They are dedicated volunteers. They do this out of the goodness of their heart and their desire to give back to nature and to give back to the state and to give back to the people of the state of Arizona. And they don't just come out for this event, but they come out day in and day out every single week to help take care of the animals. And this is kind of their reward to shine and show what they have learned and that they have a passion and a de dedication for these animals too.